Hey gang, welcome to another edition of Doc Schlock by request, where it's a review of the movie Sleepy Hollow High, and this one comes to us from fellow YouTuber The Wicker Boy. Okay. This one is about a bunch of high school students who are going to go do community service around the park, around their park, in order to get a whole lot of trouble. So our main characters in this movie are uh, Z, Bobby, Diana, and Shannon, and some other guy. And their, and their counselor, Mr. E. So, so yeah, there's the killer on the loose, he's wearing a pumpkin mask, riding a horse, and thinks he's the headless horseman, and while the kids are trying to do their cleaning up, he's going around mostly off-screen, off-screening them to death, I guess you could say. Um... So, of course, suspicions arise. People, you know, the, the students, the teenagers, yeah, teenagers, my foot. Uh, they basically think that it could be the counselor, but nope, it's not the counselor. Uh, Z gets, I think, partially blamed for it. No, it's not him. And there's a flashback to some guy stuffing a pumpkin mask into a garbage bag in the back of a car. Pretty much means nothing. So it's nighttime, and Z and Shannon are the only ones left, along with what's his name. And. And, uh. <laughs> and Pumpkin Mask shows up. Shannon goes to try to pull the mask off to see who it is. And the killer is revealed to be. a dream. It was all a stupid, stinking, freaking dream. <laughs> so then the movie ends with uh, Diana, Diane, whoever, I don't know, I don't care, and Shannon talking and I answered something about a sequel, but thank God that has not yet happened, and I pray it never will. The movie stars a bunch of nobodies. Do you even care who stars in this? Nope, good. Let's get to the reason why this movie sucked. Bad acting. Looked like it was a shot-on-video horror movie. And most of all, there's foreshadowing in the movie. Now, when I said Shannon wakes up and the whole thing was a dream... That actually happened earlier on in the movie, too. See, in the first part of the movie, there's this guy clipping out pieces from a newspaper and then goes to some random jogger and the pumpkin mask killer gets her. And, and, and then, you know, you get, it, you get this, get this uh, little scene of, of the uh, teenagers <coughs> um, uh, doing their community service. And then Shannon looks like she's going to be in trouble because she hears an echo saying, Shannon... And then she wakes up from her dream. It turns out it didn't happen. And then, I mean, I'm sorry, waking up from a dream in a, in a, in a movie twice, if you're not Nightmare on Elm Street, screw you, okay? <laughs> this movie is awful, bad, terrible. Unlikable characters, really bad acting. The gore is... Trauma does better gore. And the guy who plays Mr. E in the movie? Yeah, real funny there. Call yourself Mr. E. Yeah, 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 no. Uh, he directed the movie. And he tries to put himself out there as some sort of hunky dude who's got something going on with a female student. I'm like, not buying it. 
I don't know why they called this movie Sleepy Hollow High. They should have just called this one Foreshadowing High or something. I don't know. This movie was stupid. It was lame. And Wicker Boy, I'm telling you, man, if, if you ever saw, if you were my neighbor and you saw, and, and you asked me to review this movie and then up, upload the video later, and then you saw me banging my head against a telephone pole afterwards saying, why did I watch this movie? You'd pretty much know what I think about it. But there you guys have it, a review of Sleepy Hollow High. Please go check out the Wicker Boys YouTube channel and subscribe to him. And if you like my videos, always feel free to subscribe. If you got a horror, sci-fi horror, comedy horror, fantasy horror movie that took place in a familiar, in a familiar area based on a book, and for some reason they put a high school name on it, send it my way and I'll get on it ASAP. And if you've seen this movie, love to hear from you guys in the comments below. <laughs> so, thanks you guys so very, very much for watching, and until next time, as always, stay strong and rock on. One critic actually put this, said this movie had was given a rating of three and a half stars, said it was Scream meets Dawson's Creek. You know what? This movie was so bad, I wouldn't even give it a half star rating. That would be too good for it. <laughs>